There are nearly 200 staff members here at IHS. While we see and interact with them on a daily basis, we only catch a glimpse into their lives. They are here before the first bell and long after the last one. From the custodians to the guidance counselors to our actual teachers, they make up a fundamental group to the IHS community. My name is Paul Hyland. I teach social studies at Ithaca High School. I get here maybe about between 8.15 and 8.30, and I'll stay till maybe about 5 or 5.30. It's a combination of planning and grading, obviously, each of which have their own complexities and nuances. Planning requires a lot of things. Uh, early in your career, it requires a lot of reading. For example, when I first started, I had a decent knowledge of history, but there was a lot of parts of even U.S. history, which was sort of my specialty, that I just did not know much about. So that's the first most basic kind of groundwork, is just reading a lot. After that, uh, it comes down to actually getting it into the curriculum and getting it into lessons. So that's a combination of working with other teachers. So I'll consult with them, we'll talk about ideas, uh, and then figuring out how to make it meaningful, how to make it fun in class, how to make it relevant, how to tie it to a, an assessment of some kind. So what we usually do is we try to think, all right, how do we assess the students? That might mean day to day, it might also mean a test. How do I use these lessons to prepare for the test? And then it comes down to grading. That's the second part of teaching, uh, which is both on a day-to-day -day level, you know, how do I make sure that they learn based on this class assignment? How do I grade their homework in an efficient way that gives them good feedback? What does a test look like? Does it make sure that it corresponds with the lessons? So those are the two major facets of teaching. Uh, there's probably more, but uh, those are kind of the big ones. My biggest challenge or my biggest fear as a teacher is having a negative impact on a student. Um, like I said, and I think every teacher will say this, we come here in the morning hoping to make a positive impact on as many students as possible, preferably every one. It's impossible to do that every day, but at least throughout the year have a positive impact on every student. My real name is Catherine Gaffel. I teach at Ithaca High School. I, I'm a chemistry teacher. I really wanted to work more with people than with machines and factories and mm. budgets and all that. So um, I think the decision was I wanted to find something that would satisfy me in terms of doing some good in the world. And I think that I was able to do it through teaching. This job does not get boring. It mm. gets richer and richer the more you do it. And I think it's not about the content after a while. I still love the content and you can read about recent research so the yes there's enrichment on the content level but it's more about uh instruction and improving on instruction and how students actually absorb and use the information i think that is the challenge and how it gets more interesting every year you know i am sick i am a single parent right now my younger child is still you know i still pay for tuition it's tricky it's difficult I don't even want to go into personal finances. It's been a source of a lot of stress and strain and sleepless nights and fear. You know, how am I going to pay these bills? It's all working out, you know, I mean, I'm getting by, but uh, I would say that the difficulty of being low of the low, I guess point being, it, it, has, been, it has been hard. It has never made me want to seek employment elsewhere. I'm committed to this district for many reasons, but I, you know, the low wages, um, it's, it's been an unfortunate part of this job. Teachers have way more going on than what you see in the classroom. You know, on every level of what it means to be a human being in the world, you know, the teacher is a multifaceted person and they're doing a very complicated job. So I guess uh, just to have patience when something's not perfect and to also realize that teachers go into this because they have big hearts. So you can ask them, for things without, you know, fear. Uh, that's what we're here for.